Thank you. I'm a, I'm a 16 year old junior at Wakefield High School and a female to male transgender youth. I'm here to share how supportive this community has been through my transition. Over the last year or so, there has been more recognition of transgender individuals. Here I am at the Philly Trans Health Conference with two inspiring trans activists. This conference started 15 years ago at a Quaker meeting house where only 50 people attended. This year, the conference was held at the Philadelphia Convention Center where 4,500 people attended. In fact, this makes transitioning appear easy, but the truth is many transgender individuals deal with internal struggles. Here are some numbers that reflect these struggles. According to the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network, transgender youth feel unsafe at school, attempt suicide, and are physically and sexually harassed. Statistics show that 20 to 30 percent of homeless youth are LGBT. And because of this, transgender youth are scared to come out. But despite the negative statistics, though, there are many positive outcomes in the act of coming out. And what makes it all possible is the support from the community. I felt comfortable coming out due to the support from the Arlington community. And it's worth saying that when I was 8, 10, and 13, there were no articles in the popular media that revolved around transgender visibility. Back then, we didn't know about Caitlyn Jenner or have TV shows that revolved around transgender visibility. Back then, we didn't read the type of New York Times article I read last August while putting this presentation together. This article by Richard Friedman of Cornell Medical College stated that recent neuroscience suggests that gender identity may exist on a spectrum. The reason I point to these examples is to show that people who accepted me in school, sports, and other activities didn't accept me because that was the popular thing, but because that's what we do in Arlington. It was tough at some points, but for the most part, I was accepted no matter what. From my earliest years in Arlington Public Schools, I presented as masculine. In most school districts, if a girl showed up looking like this on picture day, she'd probably be asked to go change. I was never asked to change. And if a girl showed up to a school dance in a tuxedo, people might turn their backs. But at Gunston at Wakefield, arms were opened. Transgender individuals are sometimes asked when they realize they were not a boy or not a girl. It's a good question, but it doesn't make sense to all of us. Like some girls are tomboys, which is usually considered a phase. People thought I was a tomboy too, but as other tomboys became comfortable with their feminine side, I knew inside that I was a boy and wanted to live like one. So Arlington had accepted me all along, so going the next step from tomboy to boy was easier for me than it might be for kids in other communities. But the question was, how was I gonna do this? The first step in any journey is being able to say the truth out loud. I did this my first two weeks at Wakefield. Even though I just started high school, which can always be a bit scary, I felt comfortable coming out due to acceptance from the Wakefield community. The way I came out was by staying in front of each of my classes and letting my peers know that I was transgender and wanted to be addressed my male pronouns. I did this seven times. And the number of unsupportive classmates was zero. I needed to say who I really was, and I now know that if I hadn't, I could have easily been part of the statistics above. Arlington has accepted me individually, and there is also community effort as well, as you can see through the Arlington Partnership. They have included issues of transgender youth into their community report card. Other communities can follow in the same footsteps as Arlington and accept each kid's story as their own and let each kid know that they belong to their community no matter what. So it really does take a village to transition, and that's what Arlington has done. Arlington has helped me find my place as a T in LGBT. Thank you.